Hello YouTube, The Human Matthew here, and today I'm going to start a new series. And this series is going to be called, Can I Play? At least that's what I'm calling it right now. And basically what I'm going to do is go through different instruments that I have available to me and try to play them. So there was a time when I could play f a few instruments fairly well. I wouldn't say that uh, I was an expert at any of them but I could definitely carry a tune on a few of them. And I had a few, a few of them that I couldn't really carry a tune on, but I had them. And today I have a few instruments as well. The first instrument I'm going to attempt to play is the violin. And this is the first instrument that I officially played. And I started in fifth grade, from fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, I played violin. And then I didn't play, and for a few years until I got into 12th grade and I decided I wanted to play it again. Um, and then I haven't really played it since. So recently I purchased a violin, the MV200, and I have that right here. And it came with everything I needed, a tuner, uh, the bow, and a book. So what I'm gonna do today is grab this book and open it up to the first page and see if I can play. So I'm sure this is out of tune, let's hear it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tune it up, tighten up this bow here, and put a little rosin on it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just got done tuning up. I'm going to open this book here. I'm going to start with lesson one, which is holding violin. Oh wait, I'll just look at the picture. Alright, lesson two. Let's see. First position on the A string, open A, first finger B, second finger C sharp, third finger D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So no idea if that's actually in tune, but that's just the muscle memory I have from playing in high school. So let me go ahead and skip down here to one of these lessons here. Let's try this, this one right here. I played that far, let's see, and it goes on to E string. Four of those notes, and then. Well, I almost played that. So, um, at least I remember how to, to read the notes. So that's an accomplishment. Let's uh, move on to the first track on here. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Well, that was a simple one to play. This is probably muscle memory at that point. Well, um, I'm able to read the notes, so that's a good thing. I didn't forget everything. Brought back uh, some things. Let's see, let's see. Um, let's just go on to the songs. I'll play Mary Had a Little Lamb. That's not it. All right, so what's, what note is this? That looks like a C sharp. Terrible. All right. Can I play the violin?
I could just hear that that was out of tune. But I could, I played it mostly. <laughs> Can I play Jingle Bells? I could almost play Jingle Bells. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna practice it. I'm just gonna see if I can play. Let's see, can I play Russian dance tune? Apparently not. Can I play Russian dance tune? Apparently not. Can I play the Russian dance tune? Let's try this again. Let me kind of get the camera on the violin a bit. Can I play the Russian dance tune? Could probably use a metronome, but um, so that's that. I could probably use a metronome and some kind of tuning. So I have no idea if my fingers are in tune. I'm just going off a of memory um, of where my finger placement should be. Lightly row. Okay, that's that. I don't know. I don't know that I want to keep going. All right, I'm gonna stop there. So, um, so that was me playing through this right here. I made it to lesson four. Um. I figure once I can play all the way through lesson 28, it looks like it's lesson 28. Once I could play through there, in tune, probably get a metronome out at some point. I had one, I don't know where it went, so I probably have to buy a new one. Or download an app, I know they have apps now. Um, I'm gonna stop there because I don't want to kill your ears. I don't want to kill my ears. And uh, I should probably practice before I, I go any further. Um, I, I will mention that I do want to take, start taking lessons. I actually called the local music store and their violin teacher is out of town until next month. So that's not gonna happen for a while, but I, could, I figure I'll just go off of memory now and do what I can on my own. But I think a little bit of guidance through lessons, at least for, I'm thinking at least like six months, and then go from there. 
But um, six months, you get back into this, get to where I'm reading notes, playing different scales, playing different time signatures, playing along with other people, and also playing along with myself. Maybe layering up a couple violins or a guitar and a violin. Um, that would be awesome. All right, so this has been my first episode of Can I Play? And this has been Can I Play Violin? And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.